of the film and also its strongest aspect. When their friendship begins in the second act, that's when things start to really get going. And it's what makes the film both engaging to see the two main characters pull through and very heartwarming to see the characters bond with one another. <laughs> However, with all that said, that's the only place where the story really works. The other aspects of it are pretty subpar to Pixar's standards. Although it is executed very nicely with the main character's friendship as the heart of the story, the plot itself is rather predictable and straightforward. It's a combination of the journey from point A to point B and a coming of age story where Arlo has to learn to be brave. It really lacks some of the surprises of the circumstances between Arlo and Spot and we know each step what will happen to them. One extra note I like to add is regarding the big concept it's trying to sell of what if the meteor didn't crash into Earth and the dinosaurs survived. It definitely is an interesting idea, but the movie only glances over it. It had something, especially in the beginning where they show the dinosaurs as farmers, but that's all they did with it. The story doesn't seem all that impressive, but it's the heart of it that makes it work. The Animation When it comes to animated features about dinosaurs, most of them end up looking pretty similar. Roll back the right to the dawn of time when the earth was smoking and the lava flowed. Well, I did say most. The animation here doesn't really bring us into new and creative horizons like how Inside Out did. Instead, we get the usual dinosaur setup in a large field with forests, rivers, and mountains. Nothing too special and not that much colorful either, but the way that Pixar made it is still a true beauty to behold, capable of capturing the grand scale of the land while also presenting some fine detail. Whoa. Dang! Oh, look, look. Gives me little gooses every time. Add that with some very well done effects to see how nature is both beautiful, like with the fireflies, and threatening during the storm scenes. But then we have the characters, where the character animation is done creatively with all the different dinosaurs, and especially with how Spot would act like a dog, but their designs are so out of place. I get what it wants to try out by giving it a cartoony Flintstone style simple look, that and the textures of the dinosaurs look really nice, but it just doesn't work for this kind of movie. Maybe it would make sense if this is more humorous, but it's actually far from it. It has some funny moments, yes, but I wouldn't put this in the category of a comedy. Here's the thing. The story says it is an epic tale of a young dinosaur and a cave child finding their way home. The character design tells us that this is a film adaptation of Yoshi's Island. The designs may not sit well for this movie, but the rest of the animation is very spot on. Uh, no pun intended, by the way. The characters. The movie does offer a colorful cast of characters, but the biggest downside is that they don't really go into them as much most of the time is actually taken to look into both Arlo and Spot. With the young dinosaur, he's mostly your typical runt of the litter that starts out weak and scared, but eventually grows into a better person after his journey. But then with Spot, he's actually a lot more fascinating as a character. He acts out a lot like a loyal dog, but there's actually so much more into him that makes him come out as someone believable. As I said before, the biggest highlight of the film is the two characters' relationship, and that's what makes them so appealing, even if one character is weaker than another. It's not about reaching the goal itself, but seeing them achieve it together, since we see how their friendship grew since the very beginning. As for everyone else, 
we do see how they have personality and they seem very appealing, but the one problem is how little time we spent on them. From Arlo's caring family, to the tough T-Rexes, to the crazy hillbilly velociraptors, to the nasty pterodactyls, and especially the crazy forest woodbush, they all have something unique about them and a strong sense of likability. What is his name? I don't know. I name him, I keep him. Killer. Ah, stinky. Violet. Spike. Lunatic. But you see, that's the problem. They're so likable that you feel like they didn't get as much screen time as they should. Granted, a lot of it is spent on the good stuff, but it would have been nice if we spent more time with the others than just Arlo and Spy. The characters are great and often memorable, but we mostly watch just the main ones instead of the rest. The good dinosaur is definitely good, but it's not Pixar good. Despite having a weak story, an out-of-place character design, and spending little time on the supporting cast, it is still strong on its own with some beautiful animation, likable characters, and a tender feeling that makes it very heartwarming from beginning to end. It's a good